Hey, what's up guys? So Uniden has just released a new firmware update for the uh, Uniden R1 and the R3. Uh, it's firmware update version 1.26 and 1.92, so UI and DSP firmware updates. Now this firmware update is primarily a bug fix firmware update. Uh, the detector was just released pretty recently and uh, they're adding some new features to it, uh, but we came across some bugs that they wanted to go ahead and quickly get some uh, fixes issued out to us. Uh, so that's what this firmware update is covering. Now here's uh, everything that it's going to cover. Uh, first of all, there are some BSM improvements actually, so it's going to be doing a better job of filtering out BSMs. Uh, it's also doing a better job of just K-band filtering in general. I don't know the specifics on that, but people on the forums are reporting the detector is now quieter on K-band, which is great. Uh, the main thing that they wanted to address is the uh, K to KA band ghosting. Uh, see, a number of people would actually be seeing, uh, when the detector is seeing K band, sometimes it would report uh, those signals as KA band. Uh, this seems to be happening in front of grocery stores with automatic door openers. Uh, I've seen it with BSMs. I've seen it with speed signs. Now, uh, this new firmware update uh, should help reduce the ghosting that people are seeing. Uh, it's not going to fix it completely, but it does help quite a bit. Uh, actually, something else that's really helpful for those of you guys who are running this detector, uh, we tested a bunch of different settings to see what we could do to help. Uh, we found that if you switch the detector from KA wide to KA narrow, that actually helps reduce the K to KA band ghosting considerably. I don't know why, it's kind of counterintuitive because these falses that are ghosting are even within the range that KA narrow would alert to, so it sounds kind of weird. Um, we tested KA filter and Highway City and all the other settings. For whatever reason, KA wide, switching it into KA narrow does help reduce the ghosting as well. So download the new firmware update uh, and uh, switch to KA narrow and that should help. There were also some issues people are seeing going the other way around, where um, KA band alerts, if you disabled KA band, which usually wouldn't do that in practice, right? If you disable KA band, sometimes it would alert to KA band signals as if they're K band. So kind of ghosting the other way around. Uh, that one is less common. I'm not sure if this is completely fixing it. I don't know. Um, but they've made some improvements in that regard as well. Now, something else, uh, there was another issue with the Unidens where, uh, not ghosting, but just KA false alerts where you're driving around and it would just be going off to 35.5, which is really annoying and can be kind of a problem, you know? Uh, a number of people were seeing this issue, myself included, with the public firmware. And with with this new firmware, 1.26, it looks like this 35.5 falsing issue has been fixed completely, uh, which is awesome. It is really, really helpful, you know? So for those of you guys who've been seeing 35.5 falsing, definitely update this new firmware. Uh, it should go ahead and address that issue for you as well. So anyway, that's what 1.26 slash 1.92 is covering. Uh, I've got a video on my channel now. You can just click this button up here and it'll walk you through how to actually update your detector. Pretty simple. Download the update software, Windows only, uh, plug in your detector run the software and click update. So pretty straightforward process, but you can watch the tutorial. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated as new stuff comes out as usual. Um, but yeah, other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.